Welcome back to Black Butler. Yes, for the first time in almost a year, I actually cover this particular anime. By the time the covering the manga, because it has been a long freaking time since I covered this damn series. Yes, why the heck took me so long? Uh, I kept forgetting whenever this manga came out. That was simply the reason for it. Mm hmm. And I'm sorry for that. So, this is basically special number 21. And this is simply put a catch-up one. Now, there have been a total number of 10 chapters released since the last episode aired. Since I did my last review for the thing. Which aired back on... Back in January. This is the first time in 9 months that I have covered. Like, 9 months exactly. That I've covered this particular series, but yet 10 chapters, please. Okay, now, the first half of these chapters are focused on Baldroy. Yes, we kind of wrap up his story here for this long story arc. Yeah, pretty much the first chapter is called The Butler Annihilating, where we have Baldroy mourning death of his family, of what happened. Of course, he's sitting in the America. Yeah, it's a flashback, and his, his family was murdered by somebody. They don't say who exactly did this. Yeah, who murdered his wife and his his son. Actually, it was Native Americans. Probably due to the fact that was, well, it's typical back then. So, after deals with them, then, of course, basically, well... And then we, you think, okay, do we come back to present day? Yeah, that bond of watering. Kind of, yes. This is basically before the events of the current arc. We have him going to war. And also mourning the flashback to his family. This is probably just after he was just hired at the, the Phantom Hive household. This probably was just hired as the cook. So... Excuse me. So basically, they kind of wrap up his flashback here with the, with chapter <laughs> with chapter eighty uh, one eighty four. Yeah, they kind of wrap it up, kind of in a way. So then move on to chapter one eighty five, which is called the Butler agreeing. Where we focus on somebody else. I think it's still Baldroy, kind of. Some other person. I'm not really sure who this person is. Baldroy's here, but he's not technically focused on other woman. Who's got a burn mark. And then... <laughs> then all of a sudden... The guy who's who, who basically I think he's supposed to be his partner in his endeavor. Yeah, Chin finally shows up. It's been a while since I've seen him. <laughs> yep, it's him. Chapter one eighty six. That Butler self destructing. Yeah, he's like, and of course, yeah, we finally kind of continue the story a little bit. But the flashback stuff is pretty much mostly wrapped up. Mm -hmm. They mentioned what happened with the Earl, with, with Cecile. Who was in the series. Cecile, there's this other guy, which they haven't focused on the other... His, they haven't focused on Cecile's brother in a long time. It's almost like, basically, it's like one chapter since his arc started. Where they focused on him. But basically, now I focus on... We have Shen fighting... Well... Baldry and then some other guy who's there. We have more stuff with this woman who's I think Baldroy's kind of been infatuated with. But mostly put they wrap up the flashback stuff. We continue basically on with uh Baldroy for a while. Mm -hmm. I think they wrap up they basically take a break from their stuff, move on to finally the Finian and Snake in a little bit. 
so the woman who's here who's got a burn mark on her part of her face like on her forehead near her eye so she's and of course there's this little girl there who's a little older than she's supposed to be and then well she of course they deal with her something else horses go crazy and then Baldry is shot by this girl and then something weird happens like really weird and with that uh, and of course we're on the chapter 188 yeah you're thinking wow you're basically breezing these chapters quickly and since we catch a one it kind of is now we have 188 that boulder butler foggy where the girl is like licking the knife and then she's a bite on bold roy like who cares like you know, exterminate Yep, Chin just basically about to be killed by the girl, but look up, he stopped. Like, okay. And then she is stopped by by Boldroy. And after she's shot, of course, she's ran out of a corpse. Al, help me. And then Boldroy gets shot. But then the woman comes in, helps out Boldroy. Yep. I think the whole thing with Finney and Baldur, I think that uh, Finney and, and Snake, I think it starts with like either 191, 182. I think it's just, just recently started. So, flashback to his family. Then kind of come back to a little bit flash forward with, yeah, Baldur talking to Sebastian and put on the ground falls beneath him. He basically is like, it's a dream sequence. Yeah, that's the whole thing with it. You know, it's basically a dream sequence. And we have a promotional mini chapter which is basically just kind of Sebastian and Cecile just dressing up for apparently no reason and then we move on to 190 which I must call that butler a brief respite where where he wakes up he apparently is healed of his wounds thanks to a blood transfusion from Chin Yep, and apparently the nurse who helped them is the woman who's been having like a mark on her face, so. And of course, they eventually, after giving everybody like a debriefing, they're going to Shanghai. So grateful. And of course, we have this other guy. I think his name is Al, like, found you. And, okay, I think the other one starts with 192, because I think it was just, just recently they started. And then, of course, oh boy. Yeah, this is one of the Grim Reapers, this guy, Al. Yes, for some reason, they involved the Grim Reapers. Oh yeah, I think this is uh, Ronald Knox. That's who this guy is. Yep. So he takes together the reanimate corpse. Like stabby stabby. He brings out his freaking lawnmower. Yes, a lawnmower. Because that's what a thing looks like. It's a push mower. And then, of course, try to take him out. And then, of course, he stopped by... William T. Spears. Yes. Whose weapon is simply put... This thing. Yeah, this has popped up a couple times to show. So, yeah, he shows up here. And we finally move on to 192. The final chapter we're talking about here. 192, that butler imploring... So the girl gets stabbed, and she apparently is disposed of. After they kind of deal with her. And then we finally come to somebody different after Boldware for a while. We're on to Finian and Snake, who apparently are in Norfolk. Yes. So, they go undercover at an orphanage. Yes, an orphanage. They apparently tried to... And of course, you had to give us like, and Finian, of course, stopped by Snake of all people. 
He kind of explains the orphans, of course, they go undercover. And they kind of start it here. It's almost like the whole thing with, with Finian and Snake is just started. And it takes up, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like about eight. Looks like taking up just in the last nine chapters. Yeah. Um, I'm glad I moved to something else. Now we move on to something different, per se. It's weird, though, that Cecile and Sebastian have not ruled any, uh, Aside from the flashback or dream sequences, Seb Sebastian and Cecile have been absent for a long period of time in the manga. Yeah, and, well, now we're focusing on somebody else, finally. Because I would say this one is going to be kind of interesting because it's... I think in the case, if you read, if you read the manga, these two have not been seen since the start of this current stuff that's going on right now. These, probably, these guys have not been seen probably about two years, two or three years at this point. But, finally, something new. And we're going to close the chapter 200. Now, here's the thing. The manga is publishing now for, this is chapter 192. When it reached 144, that was that means at that point, manga publishing for 12 years. 12 years. Let's see. Now, in case you're curious, though, how long has the manga publishing for, you might ask? Well, it's been publishing since 2006. So that means this manga is publishing now for 16 years. And you might be thinking, okay... Is there enough material for another arc to be adapted for the anime? Oh, heck yes, definitely. Now, why in the world they haven't produced their season yet is a bit of mystery because the last thing they put out was a freaking movie. Yes, a movie, Book of Atlantic. Which, yeah, it just, it's kind of something that was the last thing freshly released. And that was five years ago. Alien Pictures has done virtually almost nothing with this series since that point. Now, do I think they should revive the anime for a season? Yes, I definitely think they should. But it all depends on exactly what they want to do. Yep. By the way, I give the chapters for Black Butler, eight, chapters 183 to 182, a 9 out of 10. Because we're finally progressing this, arc, we're finally progressing this story arc. Okay, so that's it for the of you. Now, I still have a couple more videos. I'm also going to be heading back to One Piece really soon. So, I'll probably see a review of that possibly today. If not, tomorrow. Okay, next video, which will be case closed. Bye.